If your keywords fall within the range of these three, you're good to go to the next step. So you want to start an online business, but you're asking yourself, is there a definitive way to know if your niche market or idea is actually going to be profitable? And is there a way to know this before you start producing all this content that everybody's telling you to produce on a regular basis? A spoiler alert. Yes, there is. And I'm going to show you exactly how to know in three easy steps. So let's jump right in. Number one, the ideal size market test. Head over to trends.google.com and type in the keyword improve memory. Then set the market to worldwide. Next, set the time range to past five years. After that, type in these two additional keywords using the compare function, learn German and beekeeping. These three keywords are what we call your North Star keywords and will be your guide when it comes to determining if your market or your niche or your idea size is either too big or too small. If your keywords fall within the range of these three, you're good to go to the next step. Now, for a comparison, type in the word fit and notice how far above the other three keywords this one is. This tells you that this is an enormous market that's likely going to be very difficult to be competitive in because of its size and the likely competition that it has. You'll want to niche down to a smaller part of this market to find your ideal market. Next, type in the keyword accent reduction. Notice how far below the other three keywords this one is. This tells you there's likely not a ton of demand for this niche and you'd likely either need to niche up or choose another niche altogether. By the way, these three exercises come from Ryan Levesque's book, Choose the Single Most Important Decision Before Starting Your Business. And I'll leave a link in the video description below. It's a $10 offer for the book that comes with an additional $200 of awesome bonuses, including the audiobook. Now that we've accomplished that, and if your market is in that ideal size zone, you can move on to number two, the ideal market competition test. You want to make sure you're entering a market market that has the right amount of competition. Not too much, not too few competitors, and definitely not zero competition. For this, we use what's called the Amazon test. So head over to amazon.com and make sure to use the US site as likely it's going to be the best indicator of actual market competition. Click up to the Amazon search bar and type in your keyword. When Amazon serves up the results, here's what you're looking for. Are there sponsored products that are education and expertise related coming up in the search results. If there are one to two or eight to nine, mark this keyword as a maybe. If there are zero or 10 or more, mark this as a no-go. There's too much competition more than likely. And if there are somewhere between three and seven products that indicates a healthy level of competition and this keyword is a go. Now, there is a lot more to dig into, but this will get you kind of up and running with this as an exercise and possibly whet your appetite to go even deeper. But even if your keywords have passed all of these tests so far, there's still one more we have to do, the five market essentials. And by the way, you wanna make sure that you have these two. Number one, is it an evergreen market? Number two, is it an enthusiast market? Number three, is it a market with a $10,000 problem? Number four, is it a market with a future problem? And number five, is it a market that has players with money? Now covering all the details of all of that is a little beyond the scope of this little video. So I'll leave a link in the video description below that shows how how to analyze those five market essentials. I see so many online business coaches that probably don't even know about the strategy that we're talking about today out there giving all the general advice about starting an online business, like just start putting out regular content or just press record and it'll all work out or just be you. And that's the best way to find your niche. I actually saw a video about that a few minutes ago. As a result of this kind of mediocre and very imprecise advice, so many new online business owners don't do this incredibly easy exercise that we're covering today. And as a result, they pick a niche that's unprofitable or hyper competitive. And because of that, they start this slow march straight to the burnout body pile. And all they needed to do to avoid all of that wasted time, effort, energy, and probably money too, was go through this really simple exercise I'm showing you today and maybe take about 10 to 15 minutes of doing a little bit of research and two free resources that will help you get this process cemented in your brain. My free start an online business quick start guide. It outlines this entire getting started process and goes into even more depth of what we're covering today. And two, this video here that walks you through the five absolute non-negotiables your market must have if you really want to succeed. So click right here and I'll see you in this video. I'm actually waiting for you over in this video right here.